Hi everyone, Steve Baker here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick update on our optics with regards to the latest uh, CX 108 update. So let's jump right into it. So we've got a number of updates I wanted to go over with everyone. Uh, we can see here that we've actually enabled a two meter 100 gig AOC cable. We've also added support for some more uh, 40 gig to four by 10 gig splitter cables. Uh, we have added uh, a one meter and a five meter 100 gig DAC also for the CX side. And we've also added some more options with regards to 10 gig DACs, three meters and five meters that are all gonna be supported on the CX devices. And we've also added uh, support for another splitter cable, which adds this uh, SFP plus end support onto the 6300 series, as well as another HIT splitter cable that adds the uh, 25 gig end of the splitter cable support on our 8000 series. So let's jump right into it here. So quick refresher, you know, when we're talking about transceivers, DACs and AOCs, you know, optical transceivers are, of course, these devices that we use to, of course, transmit and receive data. And we use uh, fiber optic networks to do that. But, you know, a lot of our solutions today use DAC cables, so direct attached cables. These are primarily formed as twin X copper cables where, you know, we've got the we've got the uh, optics pre-terminated on both sides and ends of those cable. Cables Now, of course, they come into simple cables that, that we'll see, but there's also the breakout DAC cables. Um, less common are active DACs. Um, and then, of course, we've got the active optical cables, which are just like DAC cables, except we're now, rather than using twin act copper, we're hard terminating these uh, transceivers into literally fiber optic cables. And so it's a lot easier to run uh, through your racks and, and through, uh, through the environments because it's really a, a much easier, you know, cable to, to deal with. Um, so that's the review of our optics, of course. Let's jump into the actual new information that we got. So the new SKU that we got right here, this is JL856A. This is a two meter, 100 gig active optical cable. So it's got uh, 100 gig uh, QSFB28 uh, transceivers pre-terminated on each end of this fiber optic cable. And uh, we've enabled this as supported on the 8325 switch series, as well as the 8360 switch series. And you can see all of the uh, switch series, as well as the SKUs that have been enabled with the 10A code for this uh, cable. The next one is enabling support for an HPE HIT cable. So this is a 40 gig QSFB plus to four by 10 gig SFB plus three meter DAC cable. So this is one of the thicker DAC cables. We can see the SKU here is 721064-B21. It's three meters in length. And you can see that we've actually, we've enabled support for this, at least the uh, QSFP end of this onto our 8320s, as well as the 8325s. And, uh, most of the 8360s, I'll say all the 8360s with exception of the uh, base T model. And that base T model, the, the caveat there is those 40 gig, uh, 100 gig uplinks on it don't support splitting. So that's why it's not supported there. Um, stay tuned for further information on the 6300 with regards to, we're going through testing and validation on, on the 6300 now. So stay tuned for more information on that. Uh, and the next one are a couple new DACs. These are 100 gig DACs. We, we're just offering them in more flavors now. So we've got a one meter as well as a five meter DAC. You can see these are R0725A and 726A. And we've enabled these as supported on the 8325 series, as well as all of the 8360s, as well as the 100 gig module on the 8400. So that's the JL366A module and uh, also the 100 gig module that's available on the 6400. So that is the R0X45A module. Um, so here we've got, a, we've enabled support for a couple more of the HIT DAC cables. These are three meter and five meter 10 gig DAC cables. So these are SFP plus to SFP plus DAC cables. Um, we've enabled support for these on the 8320 the 8325, 
uh, at least the 8325 model that has SFP ports. Uh, so that's the 48 port model. And then of course, we've enabled it on the 8360s uh, for those SFP ports. We've got a couple modules on the 8400 that we've enabled it for. So the 10 gig SFP, SFP plus MACSEC advanced module. So that's JL363A, as well as that 32 port uh, 10 slash 25 gig module on the 8400. So that's JL687A. And then we've also enabled it on the 10 gig ports on the 6300s. So that's the bottom three 6300s that we see there. Uh, here we have another uh, splitter cable from the HPE side. This is a 40 gig QSFB plus to four by 10 gig SFP plus three meter splitter DAC. And we've enabled this as supported on the 6300. Uh, so the 6324 port, as well as both of the 48 port models. And we can see here that only the SFP plus end is supported on these switches with this, with this uh, cable. Uh, we've got another uh, added support for another HIT splitter cable. So this is a QSFP 2800 gig to four by 25 gig uh, splitter DAC, three meters. So you can see this is 845416-B21. And we've enabled this on the 8325 series, as well as the 8360 series, as well as uh, the uh, the SFP end on the 6300 series. And that was a quick update for the optics that uh, updates that came with 10.8.